You're clearly a very spiritual person, and you've really gotten into astrology. I am. I'm really into. I'm actually kind of good at it. Um, I've been able to predict some of the births of my friends' children based on where the moon is. Really? You know it's because yeah. we had my uh, my birthday is April 18th. Yes. I actually I had something made up. It's it's your natal chart. I left it. Yeah, it's right here. It they brought it around. out. This is my. I was born April 18th, and so they made up yeah. my. I'm an Aries. Did you pick me as an Aries when you first? Uh... I did, and I'll explain to you why. Like okay. your your sun is an Aries, and that's just sort of the tip of the iceberg. And Aries, the ruling planet is Mars, who mm -hmm. is the god of war. And right. so usually Aries, you're gonna find them being firefighters, policemen. They're like, um, they're the instinctual heroes. And to me, I don't know you, but to me, you, you seem more like an, an instinctual reader. And so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I You just wasn't. said that the Aries is traditionally, it's like the He-Man, the hero, yeah. the macho. You see me as a guy who's Abbott, at the Abbott library a lot. <laughs> Gentlemen, there's a fire, tend to it. And I have my books, you see. Um, but I looked to find where your moon was because the moon reflects our inner emotions, our emotional life, our, our, our deep self. And your moon is in Aquarius, mm -hmm. um, which is the sign of the eccentric and, and sort of makes a little bit more sense. But the ruling planet of Aquarius is Uranus. So <laughs> what I know from looking at this just at, at a glance is that your emotions are heavily tied to Uranus. <laughs> and, You feel good about yourself now? <laughs> I didn't make it up, but I will You make it up, say, that is true. I did, it's true, and you also have Saturn there, and you also have Uranus is on the top of your chart, so your Uranus is full. Like, it's, 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 it's real you are very good um, at this. I'm sorry. I, you, I, uh, you, is, oh, Andy, you're enjoying this? I just you? love it. Now, this started with, you're a very spiritual person. <laughs> <laughs> it ends with a butthole joke. <laughs> I can't, let me, I can't make that, that, let me just say that that's all true what I did right, say I'm not right. making it up but it's also the sign of the genius like Albert Einstein and so it's it's most likely that and no joke he's like Mensa level brilliant you yes um, according to your chart and that's for real so that's so cool congratulations. thank you you also uh, is this true that you you can assign animal. You, you, there are animals that, that people uh, represent. Yeah, uh, I mean, or, I, I'm just getting into this, but I, you guys have probably heard of like your spirit animal. Yes, I've heard, heard of spirit of animal. Yeah. Um, and it's an, it's a combining your Western astrology with your Eastern, and so like I'm a wolf because I'm a Taurus and a tiger, and that makes that's a wolf. cool to be a wolf. Um, you're an Aries, and you were born the year of the rabbit, and so you're a llama. <laughs> It's real. Like if you look at I up, can't win. I'm just saying. My that anus is like full and I'm a llama. <laughs> this is absurd. We actually we had I feel I feel like you can kind of see it. And if we have a photo of They took this of off the llama? internet. My staff found this llama photo. <laughs> 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 Do the split screen.